Hello friends, welcome to Sandeep's Biology. So in this video, I will be talking about thalassemia and alpha thalassemia type. And in later video, I will discuss about beta thalassemia. So let's see. Thalassemia is hereditary hemolytic disorder. So it is it is hereditary hemolytic disorder. So hereditary means we obtain these disorder from our parents, right? So from parents to offspring. So offsprings obtain or inherit this disorder from parents. That is hereditary disorder. And hemo means it is related to blood. And more specifically, we can say that it is related to hemoglobin protein. Now, the hemoglobin protein is having four different types of globin chains. Two are alpha globin chains and two are beta globin chains. And we also know the central dogma of life that is DNA to mRNA and mRNA to amino acid sequences and finally protein is synthesized. So hemoglobin is quaternary protein. And of course there are genes that are responsible for coding of this protein hemoglobin or coding of the four different chains of hemoglobin protein, right? So I will draw a simple diagram of hemoglobin that is having two beta globin chain and two alpha globin chains. So simple representation of hemoglobin having two alpha globin chains and two beta globin chains and central portion is containing heme so it is the central portion is containing heme so this is beta 1 chain it is beta 2 chain alpha 1 chain and alpha 2 chain. So four different types of chain, two alpha chains and two beta chains are found in the structure of hemoglobin. And these chains are coded by the genes. So genes are responsible for the coding of these different four chains. Now if the gene is missing, so it means that it is deleted or some kind of mutation is there. So there will be impairment or, or imbalance in the synthesis of globin chains these globin chains of hemoglobin occur and that is known as thalassemia so imbalance or impairment imbalance or impairment in the synthesis of these globin chains, right? Synthesis of globin chains that are two alpha and two beta globin chains. So this is known as thalassemia. If there is some imbalance in the synthesis of globin chain, then it is known as thalassemia. Now according to which, which chain synthesis is imbalance, the thalassemia are of different types. If, for example, alpha chain synthesis is imbalanced, then it is known as alpha thalassemia. And if the synthesis of beta globin chain is impaired, then it is known as beta thalassemia. Now, let's see about alpha thalassemia in this video. So, alpha thalassemia. The gene that is coding alpha chains that is present on chromosome number 16. So chromosome number 16 are having genes that codes for the alpha globin chains, right? So I will draw oh, chromosome here. Chromosome are always in a pair and one chromosome and there is another homologous chromosome. So 
on this chromosome, chromosome number 16, the genes, there are four different genes are present. So, that are called alleles. The genes that are coding the same trait are called alleles. So, four different alleles or four different genes that are present and are coding for alpha globin chains of hemoglobin. So, these are four different genes that are coding for alpha globin chains, right? If one of the genes are missing, then there will be alpha thalassemia. And according to the number of genes that are missing, alpha thalassemia are having different subtypes. So, let's see about it. So, let's see about the types. Here, the genes that are missing and symptoms. So, first case is normal. All four genes are present. So, it makes protein hemoglobin and it codes for alpha globin chains. So, the person is not having any kind of disorder if four, all four genes are functional. Right? So, first subtype is silent carrier. In silent carrier, one of the genes that are coding for alpha globin chain are missing. So, I will indicate the missing gene by this blue color and all other three genes are functional. So, that is alpha 1 gene, alpha 1 gene, alpha 2 gene, alpha 2 gene. So, one gene is missing that I have indicated by blue color and as it is missing but other three genes are present, the alpha chains are synthesizing. So, there is no impairment or imbalance of synthesizing of alpha chain. So, it is synthesizing. So, this person are having no symptoms. So, it, this person can live normal life. But it carries alpha thalassemia trait to its offspring. It is having normal but it carries the trait. Second subtype is alpha thalassemia trait. In alpha thalassemia trait, two genes are missing. So I am indicating missing gene by blue color. And other two genes are present and functional. So these two are alpha 2 gene and is alpha 1 gene. So two alpha 1 genes that codes for alpha 1 globin chains are missing. So that this person having alpha thalassemia trait will have minor anemia. Third subtype is hemoglobin H disease. So, in hemoglobin H disease, two genes that are coding for alpha 1 globin chain is missing and one gene that is coding for alpha 2 chain is missing. So, it will be like this. Only one gene is present or functional. This person having HBS disease is having moderate anemia. The person is having moderate anemia. And the last possibilities or last subtype is hydrops fetalis. In this case, all four genes that are coding for alpha 1 and alpha 2 chains are missing. So, all four genes are missing. That means that no functional gene is present and death on birth occurs. So, in hydrops fetalis, the fetus will be dead on birth. So, 
death on birth occurs in case of hydrops fetalis it the fetus will no longer live so that is four different subtypes according to the number of genes that are missing that are coding for alpha 1 and alpha 2 chains of hemoglobin so that is about alpha thalassemia type and different subtypes of alpha thalassemia i hope this video is helpful if you are watching this video till here please hit the like button share this video with your friends if you want more videos like this then subscribe to my channel thank you for watching